Hey V team, so I just interviewed Cynthia Kiss. That interview will be linked below in the description, so check that out. I think it was really a good interview. We, we got in amazing. there. We got in there. We dug deep. <laughs> now we're gonna do something a little bit more fun. I figured that a lot of you might have questions about drag and drag queens in general, and I didn't really know what those questions might be, so I figured let's Google it and Google see it what are the most common searches when someone types in do drag queens. Okay. So it's basically, I typed in do drag queens. Do drag queens or dude drag queens? Do drag queens. Do drag queens. So like do drag queens pee. Like do drag queens free. <laughs> Why did you think I would type in dude drag queens? I just wanted to clarify. because That's a really interesting and kind well, of we, offensive search. Well, we talked about bio queens yes. in the other video. So check that out. We actually kind of break down yeah, the fact that there, there are girl drag queens yeah. and dude drag, dude queens. drag queens. So that's a whole other video. Stay tuned for dude drag queens. <laughs> Do drag queens. No. Blank. So we're going to fill that in for you guys. Do drag queens have to be gay? No. You don't have to be, but I mean, like, you're gonna be around a lot of them. <laughs> have you ever come across a straight, straight queen? <laughs> straight dude. Dude drag queen. That's a dude, dude queen. Dude, dude queen. You know, I haven't yeah. met uh, any, but that's not to say they aren't out there. Never say never. <laughs> <laughs> to quote Justin yeah. Bieber. Do drag queens get breast implants? This, like, if you're going to augment your breasts, from my best knowledge, I would consider, I would think you are more going down the path of like transitioning. Transitioning. Like becoming, right. you know, yeah. a trans female woman. or, yeah. So, and that, that I think is probably a common question because I think a lot of people, I think there's been contestants on RuPaul, we were talking about RuPaul before, that have breast augmentation. Yes. No one on the show has no, ever done it. Okay, okay. But once you get off the show, you get a lot of money. And then they're like, okay, give me the titties. <laughs> uh, what's her name from the last season? Uh, Peppermint? Yeah, Peppermint. She she just got her breasts done after the okay. show. Um, but she identifies as she, a trans woman. Okay. So, to actually honestly answer that question, I almost say no to yes. drag queens having, like, yeah. but then she is a drag queen too. It's so, so hard, right? There's so many, like, you don't want to box people in. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep it really yeah. inclusive. So technically, yes. I changed my answer to yes, <laughs> but in the specific terms of the drag queen most likely being transgender. Do drag queens identify as female? So I guess that's like while in drag? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is something I get a lot as well. Mm -hmm. um, like for me, I'm like, yeah, call me her, she, yeah. when it's Cynthia. Yeah. Um, but like, if I'm at like a rehearsal out of drag, yeah. full Daniel mode, yeah. you can call me whatever. him and then he. And Daniel. then when you're in full Dan Daniel mode, if someone said Cynthia, you'd answer them. I still do. When I'm out on the street and yeah. someone's like just calling for a random Cynthia, I'll be like, like yes. Hello? <laughs> I feel like people are searching that because they're yeah. they're like, I want to be respectful yeah. and polite and not offend, yeah. right? My favorite though is when it's like late, late at night, it's like someone's really drunk and just be like, can I just be like, honest with you, like, what do you prefer? Like, how do I? And then it's like having that You're whole like, conversation. the time? At like 3 a.m. I'm just like, you know what? Another time. I got a couple questions on Twitter, and one of which was, are heterosexual men hitting on you, or is it typically gay men? If someone were to approach you, and is there a certain kind of gay male who likes drag queens? Well, yeah, there's like, everyone has their, their you thing. know, their thing. For me, um, being on the more, you know, fishy side yeah. of things, I have a certain demographic that is drawn to like approaching me. Yeah. For the record, no shade if you do it. I'm not down to clown with that. Like go home with a guy in drag. I'm like, I'm a Barbie doll. Like yeah. I've got no holes. Like there's people out there that are totally into that. And mm -hmm. there's also queens that are totally into pursuing men wall and face. You know right. what I mean? I will say that number is smaller than right. people who don't, right. but like, it's out there, and as long as everyone's safe and being respectful, I'm like, do Absolutely, your thing. do your thing. But yeah, you. not a lot of straight men. No. No. Okay. But it's also because I'm at a gay bar. Yeah, that's true. Like, I'm not about to go um, to Granville <laughs> after a night and be like, let's get some straight dick. Like, <laughs> that's not <laughs> the goal. Do drag queens tuck their junk? Oh yeah, girl. <laughs> this is such a funny question because this is number four most searched on Google. So well, it's probably the people being like, "I want to do drag. Do I have to like 
talk my job. <laughs> like, like asking themselves, like, where do I put it? What? I have um, what is called like a gap, which is basically okay. like a band um, in between an elastic that like it would be like a really tight, strong thong that okay. will hold holds it back. Um, <laughs> things back and then my balls on my body. <laughs> okay, I need to talk to you about this. Yeah, not everyone does that, but I do. I just found out like a few months ago mm -hmm. that when some queens talk, yeah, their balls there. actually go into their body. Well, you have, you know, the shape of a uterus, how there okay, are like yeah. two kind of eggs this way. This is so educational, I yeah. love it, okay, yeah. Male genitals are these this way. So you can actually, they're just, there's still pockets up there that you can just go Oh my god, like this is amazing yeah. to me It's kind of, it would be like, um, no it's not like double jointed because everyone can do it <laughs> It would be like, oh I can't think of another physical <laughs> I'm comparison. trying to think too, I'm like, I can't think of a body part I can insert <laughs> It would be like taking your ear and shoving it into your head <laughs> You can do it, it doesn't hurt It doesn't hurt It's a little weird at first, yeah. but like, you know, after the hundredth time <laughs> different varieties of duct tapes, stronger tapes. Um, right. I wear like a couple layers of really high shine tights. Okay, That really yeah. hold everything hold in the back. back. Yeah. And I guess it depends how you're dressing too, because if you're oh, in a yeah. certain outfit that you want to wear. If I'm in a bodysuit, it, it has to be like fully. Yeah, fully taped. Yeah. And then you don't get to go pee. You can't go pee all night. Because it ruins the time. <laughs> so literally, if I'm wearing a bodysuit, know that I haven't urinated since <laughs> I got into There's that There's so suit. much commitment to that. Oh, yeah. I pee so much. Me freaking <laughs> too, girl. <laughs> no wonder drag queens just like take shots. Because like you don't want too much liquid. Yeah, low liquid, <laughs> low liquid. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh no, and then you see me with a beer. Especially when you're doing a show that's not like you're going on and then you're done. Mm -hmm. Like with Brat Pack, you're on throughout the night. Exactly. So and when I was night. first starting out, there were a couple unfortunate um, talk situations. <laughs> Things moved. <laughs> Things were seen that audience <laughs> members maybe shouldn't have seen. A ball or two is popped out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've so seen. I, I've actually seen a ball at a drag show before. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you'd seen mine. <laughs> we also searched why do drag queens blank and saw what came up. Here's the top four Google searches for why do drag queens. Why do drag queens do what they do? <laughs> it's the funniest one I read because I was just like, that's so ominous. Like, why do they really do? Oh, that's shady. Yeah. Why do they do what they do? I think of all the people that would have typed that, that in. And also that they thought one answer was going to like, well, well, Googler, to truly answer why I do it, yeah, um, I have a lot of these like creative ideas, and I mm. wanted an outlet right. for all of it. And Cynthia is that outlet for me. Right. Like I missed performing. I love mm. dancing. I love making these wacky costumes. Like yeah. all of it just was kind of amalgamating to this character. So that is why I do it. Yeah. Um, a lot of other drag queens would share that. Yeah. Um, but then they also have their own personal reasons. You know what I mean? They're terribly dead. Why do they do no. what they do? <laughs> why do they do what they do? Like if someone came up to me and was like, Cynthia, why do you do what you do? I would have been like, excuse me? Well, I don't do it for you. <laughs> yeah. Why do drag queens tongue pop? I don't know the original name. Like, I don't know, I don't know why, but like, like that's not the one. Am I doing it? It has more of like an echo. Think making an O at the end of it. Yeah. Like a deep, like, fucking nailed it. I feel like I'm in, like, I dream of genie, like. Why do drag queens glue their eyebrows? Well, if you look at, like, I can look in the mirror. Basically, like, my real eyebrows are, like, under. Are, like, the green. Yeah, like exactly. Green. Yeah, where the green is. Yeah. And so I, what I have done has lock them down with glue. And blocking just means literally sticking them down. Yeah, because it's like their their hair. Yeah. And I want it to look like skin. Skin right. is smooth. Right, yeah. So putting glue and powder down it out. will smooth that surface area and then you just keep going with more concealers and then your shadows and things. Right. To play with the illusion of a bigger eye. Okay. And then by drawing, you know, all these features so big it makes my head look smaller. <laughs> You okay. just basically want to make your head look really small <laughs> and like your lips your really look big. big and then your eyes look big like and your animated. nose. Yeah, exactly. I need to start doing that. 
Why do drag queens lip sync? Because they can't sing, no. Because <laughs> it's a really fun way to just kind of, I don't know, it's like the songs, the re the word why yeah. feels loaded here because yeah. it's like, why do they do it? But it's like, totally. um, I don't actually know why, the origin, yeah. But I love doing it. I feel like for me, like watching, like I'll see a drag queen. Doesn't it kind of feel like a music video yeah. on stage? Like you get totally. to see someone finishing this fantasy. Absolutely. So I think that's a real why. And I also feel like when I see a drag queen and then they go on stage and I'm like interested, like Ooh, what song are they gonna choose? Like what's their style? What's their thing? And you've done all this work to look like a woman. You want it. It's the final piece. You're speaking like a woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's like finishing the yeah. whole thing. <laughs> I'm like thinking of this and I'm like, you're like speaking like a woman. Like I'm realizing. <laughs> speaking like a woman. I'm like, I get it. Like a woman. I get it. I get why I do it. I love when people sing live. I love when people do comedy. I love when people switch up the lip sync formula because yeah. it is um, one that we've seen a lot. And yeah. I, I do it all the time, but I, I love when people try to read them. Now. Okay, well guys, we Googled it and I hope you got some of your answers. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our other video. The link will be in the description below. And also, Cynthia Kiss, if you want to book her, the contact information will be below. And also, go check her out on social media. Seriously, one of the hottest people I follow on Instagram. Hands down. <laughs> I'm actually kind of like intimidated because I'm going to edit this video and be like, she's so much prettier than me. <laughs> I should have like added like more eyeliner to try and like, you know, really take center stage. You should have blocked your brows. That's what we Next did. time. <laughs>